Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie with Cookbook Divas and my first cookbook video of 2022 because it's been so crazy after the holidays and starting the new year. I am excited to look at this not quite a cookbook. It's a giant lifestyle book called Chateau Life. It is huge. It's very heavy. I don't know how I'm going to hold it up. It's by Jane Webster, photographs by Robin Lee. It is gorgeous. I did a quick little flip through on reels a couple weeks ago. The library wants it back, so today we're going to look through it. As You Lean is the publisher. Hope I said that right. Came out in 2019. It is massive. Now, I was drawn to it because the cover is beautiful. So when I saw that at the library, I grabbed it and thought, is this a cookbook? But one of the ways we refer to my small, modest, boring suburban home is we call it the chateau. Oh, I'm going back to the chateau for dinner, or would you like to come to the chateau for drinks? Even though my house is like cookie cutter, looks like several of my neighbor's homes. But anyway, when I saw a book about a chateau lifestyle, I had to pick it up. Beautiful garden picture. But what is in here? Wow, when my house does not look like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. And my furnishings do not look like that. <coughs> that would be nice. Right, table of contents. This book is so heavy. Okay, chapter one, the French culture of eating. Now, I'd like to know about that, so I'm going to read that. Chapter two, what's in season? Okay, food, yep. Yeah. Oh, I think this is all a cookbook. Oh my gosh, it is. Chapter three. Le Petit Déjeuner. Chapter 4, The Table Matters Most. Chapter 5, Growing a Potager with Children. Chapter 6, The French Sunday Lunch. Chapter 7, The Art of Setting the Table. And then we move on to Les Goûters. And then the next chapter is La Boite à Déjeuner. The next chapter is French Traditions, Joie de Vivre. So this is going to be a little pretentious, but that's okay. Let's check it out. Ah, it's so heavy. Okay. I'm going to move into... Oh, here's some more. This is a chicken liver parfait photograph. Introduction. Okay. This is really pretty. I am going to so sit down in a big chair and have a way to prop the book up so I can look through it without hurting my back. Chapter 1, The French Culture of Eating. The French approach, approach to food is characteristic. They bring to their consideration of the table the same appreciation, respect, intelligence, and lively interest that they have for the other arts, for painting, for literature, and for the theater. We foreigners living in France respect and appreciate this point of view, and the quote is from Alice B. Toklas. Gorgeous. It was going to be a very inspiring book. I. I don't have a room that looks like this, but I could at least dust the room that I do have and take better care of it. Yes. Okay, some text, some text, some pictures of the home, pictures of some beautiful dishes. I'm going to keep going here. Picture of some food. That is duck and a pork terrine. So far I haven't seen a single recipe, however. Here is a picture ouch, of a shoulder of lamb. Don't see a recipe for it yet. Aha! Here's the recipe. Shoulder of lamb with market greens, horseradish cream, and aubergine puree. Next is a celeriac remoulade, smoked salmon, and crescent. No picture. Leek, roasted tomato, and goat's curd tart. Gorgeous. I think I need to adjust my camera so you can see the book when I hold it up. There we go. That'll be better. Okay. Let's look at some more pictures. Well, wouldn't it be nice if our garden looked like that? Or if I even had any sunshine here in Seattle in January? Not going to happen. Beautiful. This photography is to die for. You can tell they spent a lot of time and put a lot of thought and care into creating this book. Here's something called a brandade of fennel. I don't personally care for fennel. It tastes too licorice for me. Now we're in the what's in season chapter, and I can't show you the whole book, and it's hurting my back to hold it up, so I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. My massage therapist was like, you don't have a lot of range of motion in your neck. What's going on? I'm like, oh, I hold up heavy cookbooks and turn and talk about them. He's like, stop doing that. I'm like, no, never. This is a chicken and tarragon pies. 
nice winter food. Oh, if I made that for my boyfriend, he would be super happy. The recipe is nowhere nearby. There it is. Okay, I had to turn a couple pages to find it. Whole baked salmon stuffed with lemon and dill. <gasps> a salad of tomatoes and a gorgeous French building. They really have architecture that is so stunning. As opposed to my boring suburban neighborhood. Three, la petite dujeuner. I.e., I believe that is a little lunch, but I could be wrong. My French classes were a long time ago. They're showing antiques. They're showing the chateau. Okay. They said, when it comes to le petit déjeuner, it is not just the fresh baguettes, homemade jams, croissants, and pain au chocolat that we should be talking about. It is often said that breakfast, oops, it's breakfast, excuse me, is the most important meal of the day, and I'm a great believer in its ability to set up for the day ahead. Okay, I've been corrected. Petit déjeuner is breakfast. Here's a torturous bread photo. Uh, there's recipes for quinoa porridge brulee, granola, quinoa. Oh, well, here's what the quinoa porridge brulee looks like. It's hard to photograph brown food. The granola, a rhubarb compote. Gorgeous. I definitely recommend this book if you like this kind of thing. Definitely check it out from your library. Be careful not to hurt your back. Buckwheat crepes with mushrooms and spinach. That sounds amazing. Homemade raspberry jam and some. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to keep going as long as I can. Eggs and cocotte. I can't show you the whole cookbook, though, so I'm going to skip to the next chapter if I can find it. I think I'm in it. Herb-crusted rocks of lamb does not sound like a breakfast meal. Ugh, here's someone's beautiful dining room. A little, a little bland. I need more color. Here's a something called ricotta gnocchi. I'm not doing justice because my camera is not showing the cookbook as colorful as it should be. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful kitchen with tables in it. Oh, love it. Although yellow wouldn't be my first choice. Here's a gratin of shrimp and leek and a garden gate leading temptingly into a garden. Simple tomato and basil sauce, pork belly with roasted plums. Gotta skip ahead. We're not even halfway through the book yet. I better get a little busy here. A tart a la courgette. Courgettes are zucchini, if I'm not mistaken. Here's some more chateau fancy. I'm not going to show you because it's too painfully beautiful. Okay, I'm trying to spare your eyes. So here's a picture of some trees. I'm not sure why you would include that. That's I guess it's setting the mood. It's not food related. Beautiful plate. Oh, I'm sorry I licked my finger on the library book. A woman coming back from market in a beautiful dining room at the chateau. I wonder how many cooks a chateau has. I guess I will find out when I read through the book. I loved when I, the one time I went to Paris, little stores like that are so beautiful. We don't quite have the same gorgeous stores here. Ooh, there's a big picture of cheese. Vichy soie with pan fried shrimp and truffle oil recipe. There it is. I'm gonna skip ahead. Give a roast chicken. I don't need to show you a roast chicken. You know what that looks like. But look at this beautiful spread for lemon curd panna cotta with fresh summer berries. That looks refreshing. The art of setting the table. Woohoo! I love table settings. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Whew. This book is pretty cool. I'm skipping ahead because I don't see any recipes and we're really here for that. Here, that must be marmalade. Okay, and then this chapter is about, I don't know what, but here's some little bread rolls, something, potatoes, donuts. Here is, I think, the dinner chapter. I think. I'm getting tired. Okay, beautiful. Those are brioche filled with crab. I'm sure that sounds tasty to those of you that are not vegetarians. French traditions, joy de vivre. I don't see any recipes. Oh, yes, I do. Smoked salmon pate and scallop ravioli. Gorgeous photograph. I'm going to end this here because this is painful and hurting my back. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Chateau Life. Uh, if you did, please drop us a like and a comment so the social media algorithms will show you more of our posts. You can find more cookbook look-throughs at cookbookdivas.com, our website. We have a podcast by the same name. We post cookbook videos to YouTube, of course. And we post cookbook news and info to Instagram and Facebook under Cookbook Divas, in case you couldn't guess. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.